Hey everyone, so today I want to make a video uh, on a sort of neglected group of Apple users, and that's people who have a Touch Bar Mac. So I actually have a 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro still. I'm not planning on upgrading to Apple Silicon anytime soon. It's a great laptop that works for me. If you've seen my other videos, you probably already know that. I made a whole video on uh, why I'm keeping my Intel Mac. You can watch that uh, if you're interested. I'll leave a link somewhere. But I want to make this video for people to who still have a touch bar Mac to add more functionality and uh, usability to their touch bar. Apple never really put a lot of effort into it, I don't think. There's some, third, or in my opinion, there's a lot of third-party apps that do use it uh, and have like some sort of little features. I don't think it was ever done right. That said, uh, when the touch bar came out in 2016, a lot of people didn't like it. I think some people really liked it and then the average consumer didn't really give a shit. they're just like you know it's a new thing apple is doing so yeah they didn't really have an opinion on it i personally enjoy using the swipe feature for the brightness or the volume uh, i also have uh, the button customized here to uh, i have my play and pause media button as well as a screenshot button i think those are pretty useful like i said apple didn't do it well i think this app called Poc is one of the best apps that i found for the touch bar max this adds some real functionality and some real customization to your touch bar it doesn't fully kick out your dedicated apple control center you can in fact do that but it won't do that to, to start with so the first feature is a control center so this adds a second control center to your touch bar and uh, it allows for volume control brightness a sleep lock and screen save button which is interesting because with one tap you can just lock your macbook right away like with that that little touch button on your touch bar which is pretty cool essentially this POC control center would you you would shut down and kick out the apple one and put this one instead or you can have both like you could do basically anything you want the second sorry the second thing you can add is a dock uh basically what it takes is your macbook's existing dock and puts it in your touch bar so you could tap apps on there to open it uh you can actually click your downloads folder and then scroll through your downloads folder click it and then open like an image if you have in there a file anything from the touch bar which is pretty interesting pretty cool and works surprisingly well now you can have it set up how i did which was only showing the apps that are already open so by doing that it only shows you the apps that are currently running and then you could tap them to bring them to the front of, uh, of your your screen so then you can work on them switch between like I don't know discord and Firefox or whatever you know like back and forth just by tapping the touch bar which is pretty useful and I'm very surprised Apple didn't do this because it just like it looks natural and it makes sense like I have it open right now and it just looks like it looks normal you know it's not like a, a weird thing next thing is a an escape button a digital escape button which i believe was 2016 to 2018 if i'm not mistaken i have a physical escape button because mine's a 2019 they re-added the uh, escape button to this laptop so i don't really use that one it's kind of useless to me but it's there if you want it uh there's also a now playing uh widget which just shows any current media that's playing it's going to show up there and you could also customize it to have uh little skip buttons on either side you can also set a default music or media player app i put it to spotify so when it's not playing any media it'll just show spotify and i could tap it and open spotify right away play music the next app that, sorry the next widget is a status widget so this shows your battery percentage or just an icon uh, of your battery your wi-fi status your if you want date and time and your keyboard in, keyboard input source so uh sort of useful with the battery percentage thing it's just there at a glance for you so i it's a pretty cool widget next one is a weather widget so this displays the outdoor temperature and your weather conditions in your city so if you see it over here it'll say the temperature it'll show a nice little icon that it's sunny and then it'll say clear skies so yeah you just have your weather at a glance now one thing when using Poc is it overrides any app that has touch bar compatibility it'll not show up when you're using Poc so Poc just completely overrides it and it always displays your Poc 
widgets on the touch bar. The main focus of this is just to add more functionality to your touch bar. So I think it does a really good job of that. So that basically concludes the whole video with all the, the features and everything. So I hope you got a good understanding of it. My touch bar is pretty simple as the weather, the dock, uh, and the now playing widget. So I kept it simple. Uh, this is how I use it. I genuinely use this all the time by switching apps or looking at the weather and stuff. It works really well. And if you try it out, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your setup, what, what your widgets are your favorite in the comments below. Um, I just want to share this for any of the touch bar people, any old Macs, or if you're buying a used Mac uh, that still has a touch bar, this might be good for you. Um, and it's free. So it's free to download with all these built-in widgets. You might as well give it a shot, right? So let me know what you think and peace out.